That's enough. Oh, you guys, huge announcement. Something that you guys have been waiting for for a very long time. I always get asked, can we come for a ride in one of the cars? And I've always had to say no. Well, no longer. This Saturday, May 27th, there's a link in description with Slush Motorsports event at the Pikes Peak International Raceway. We will be there. We're bringing out some epic cars and we will be doing the very first official DD ride along. Bring your car. It's a full blown motorsports track event. Tons of fun, drifting, road course, drag racing, rev battles, flame battles. We'll be there for all of it. Link in description, come out, have some fun. It's this Saturday. So mark it on your calendars. And if you wanna just spectate, there's a spectator package. Come on out, I can't wait to see you guys. Time to go shower and get on with the vlog. Let's do this. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to beautiful Kelowna, British Columbia, my home here in Canada. You don't get to see it often enough. I know, I know. People out on their boats. It is like in the high 80s, maybe 90s Fahrenheit. You'd have to do the conversion. All I know is it's like 32 degrees Celsius. It's beautiful, it's warm, and it's the perfect day to share what car Billionaire Mike Hall has lent me for the last couple of days that I've been home. What a whirlwind of a few weeks it's been, man. Everything that we've done down in California with the shop, the progress and everything we're doing there, going to Rome, going to Italy for the very first time with my family and getting to experience the whole universal Fast X global premiere and the launch of that movie and getting to see it before anybody. And today happens to be the actual public release date in theaters only. So I'm gonna get Billionaire Mike Hall, his son, and a friend of mine who's coming into town and we're gonna go watch the movie tonight. But that's not what this is all about. This is all about kind of redemption. My all-time favorite car on this channel was my very rare gated V12 Murcielago. It was an LP640, which made it even rarer than most of the manual gated Murcielagos out there because it was the first gen. Then there were the LP cars and then there were the ultra rare uh, gated Murcielago SVs, which there were only six in the world. And I believe someone said that if you could get somebody to sell one, it would probably sell between three and five million US dollars, which is mind boggling. Billionaire Mike Hall says to me when I get into town, hey, you're home for a bit, you need a car to drive. I got just the car for you. So he throws me the keys. And the second I saw this key, this old school Lamborghini key, I had a pretty good idea of what it was gonna be. Boom, he threw me the keys to a gated manual first gen Murcielago. A look at this car. It is so sexy. The lines on the Murcielago are some of my favorite lines of any supercar honestly ever made. There's something so aggressive and yet so simple and sleek about this car. Oh, I always forget. Murcielagos have the anti-theft from 1990. All right, here we go. The kill switch. Yes, yes. Oh, the quirky park brake on the left between your leg and the door. And we got the beautiful gated shifter right here. First gear, clickety clack, and we're off. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Damon, you had this car. You had the better version of it. Why didn't you just rebuild it? I'll be honest with you guys. My heart wasn't in that car anymore. I don't know if you're superstitious or not, but I just felt that car might have had some bad juju. I sold it, and the best part is, because it was an LP car, because it's so rare, it was worth a lot of money still, even crashed. So I got paid out from insurance, they gave me the car back, and then I sold what was left of the car, and I got a pretty good chunk of money. And the best part is, for what this car is going for, I almost could buy this car out free and clear for the upside of what I made on my LP car over the last four and a half years. So that leaves me with the question. Do I buy one of these first gen manual Mercia logos? And if I do, which one? August has three. Why don't we head over there and find out? Yes, yes, and we're back. August luxury motor cars, ladies and gentlemen, 3510. Spectrum Court, your source for all things supercar, off-road, I mean, these guys have everything. Like, look at this thing. What the hell is that? Oh, let's go say hi to billionaire Mike Hall. She's a beaut, but she's not mine. One of three, go check out the other two. Do I buy another one of these? I do have to return it today. August Luxury Motor Cars. Oh, you're important, but you're more important. Hi. 
How's it going? This is Bentley. This is Bentley. Say hi to Bentley. Hey, how you doing? Can I shake a paw? Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for letting me drive this. No thing. problem, buddy. No problem. I am. Uh, I'm in love all over again. I know you are. I am in love all over again. Well, but this isn't the only one you have. Can we show them the other two? We got two more. We actually have three more because Kevin is now going to sell the yellow one. Oh, he's not going to have the yellow one. No, this oh. is going for sale too. That'd be crazy. Have. Really? Yeah. He's I was sell surprised that he's selling Dude, it. I was just talking called, to you yesterday about this. I know, he this. just called me today and he's like, put it up for sale, put the Mercy up for sale. The options are the lighter so, silver one outside, which broke. is a metallic. Yeah. Then there's this darker Grigio, which is ironically, this is the exact color my first Gallardo was. The exact color? Exact color. Also down here, we have an option for an orange one. This one, I love. The orange interior is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. I've never really had a bright color interior. I'm thinking orange or gray, and if I got a gray one, I might even paint it. Honestly, I'd probably go gray for you because it has an all black interior, and you That's change right. the colors so much that the orange is not gonna go with anything that you're gonna yeah, do. You're unless right. you keep the car orange, but. Uh, the orange is cool, I love cool, orange. It's not gonna go with half the colors you like to do and the stuff you like to do to these cars. <laughs> you, I don't know why are you laughing? Because I just know what laughing. you do. Sounds like you want to go for a ride with me today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to hear Billionaire Mike Hall scream in the passenger seat? What do you want here? Let me take you out for a ride in this with Hell everything no. with everything Hell turned no. off. Hell no. I got to take you for a redo on the twin turbo F12. It is so much more mental. Hell no. Like so mental. We almost died in that car. <laughs> Holy shit, a fucking deer jumped out in front of us as we're sideways. I am not fucking you. I dodged it though. Yeah, you did, Side sideways. We almost hit the deer. We almost hit the deer. We would have had deer jerky. So what we really need to talk about, first of all, do I buy another manual Mercia log? Should I get the orange one and just keep it orange and live the Skittle lifestyle? It'd be one of the first cars that ever stayed one color. Yeah, which I, I don't think you can do it. Nah, hold, that, that sounds like a I challenge. I don't think you could do it. That sounds like I'm willing to accept the challenge. Yeah. Well, we first got to find out if it's if not, it's available. Spoke, if it's not be, spoken this for. This might be spoken for. Someone's thinking about it. Yeah. Beautiful car. I love it. I've always wanted an orange car. In fact, when you see this car, you're like, oh, that's so cool. It's so bright. But then you see it next to this, this is actually a brighter orange. I think this is the original Mercio Lago orange that I fell in love with when, you know, I was a yeah, much younger man. <laughs> a much younger. <laughs> much younger man. Yeah. <laughs> Pre glasses, David. Actually, that's not true. I've had glasses my whole bloody yeah. life. This son of a is driving like a maniac and he needs glasses now. <laughs> This was only a few weeks. When was I in LA? How long ago? The truth is I never saw the deer. <laughs> I never exactly, but you drifted around it pretty good. <laughs> going to fast x tonight yes i'm excited i I'm mike so hasn't excited. seen it no nope. i'm not gonna spoil anything for you we need to take cars to okay. fast x what are you gonna take to fast x what's, don't spoil it what's faster and more furious than this you want me to drive that yeah it's, i think that's the perfect car for you to take it's pretty much the perfect car i agree with you it's highly modified oh yeah it's very fast and the furious mod and it's still a supercar so it's still oh, yeah. vde exactly and this it's is also because we built it yeah exactly bam <laughs> taking the 488 wide body liberty walk gt3 DDE car. We're gonna take this to Fast X. And what do you drive? That's that I don't question. know. Come on. Um, you got, well, what should I take? I don't know, you got one or two cars to choose from. Should I go McLaren, should I go Ferrari? Maybe I'll take the 765. Take the 765. It's loud, it's obnoxious, the doors go up. Yeah. You got that on me. It's also faster than this. It's way faster. Let me ask you this, because not a lot of people ask us, how much money do you think has been put into this car on a retail side? Start with the wide body Liberty kit. What's so, that, a hundred grand? No, that's not. If you want, Canadian, if, I'm talking. If you bought the whole kit, I think it's in the neighborhood of 55, 60. But then installing it and painting it and cut like all the work? Yeah, so here's what happened. Kato, who owns Liberty Walk, brilliant guy, super nice guy, but smart businessman. He doesn't discount his stuff. So he doesn't sponsor kits really, as far as I know to anybody. I didn't even really get a deal on this. So I went through a friend who's a wholesale dealer and he got me the kit at wholesale. So 
I paid 27,000 US dollars. Just for the parts. For the kit, just the kit. And then I only used over fenders. Yeah. I didn't even use the front splitter, the rear diffuser, the side skirts or the wing or any of that stuff. All I wanted was the over fenders and he won't sell the kit in pieces. Really? So you can't just buy over fenders. I tried. I don't even know what we did with the spare stuff. I think we just threw it out. <laughs> and then I went to my good friends at Vorsteiner because I just like the quality of their stuff and the look better. So I kind of Frankenstein my own kit, if you will. I got this uh, Vorsteiner front splitter. Hi, Benny. How you doing? Just wants to get right in there. Vorsteiner and Liberty Walk mixed with race car parts from Ferrari. So the wing chassis mounted in the mirrors are from Ferrari. And then the rear diffuser fins, the side skirt front end Vorsteiner, and then Liberty Walk. So all in all in this car, you're probably 100,000 US dollars. Enough of this car. Let's get it out. Let's take it out. Then what are you going to bring the 765? I think the 765 probably deserves a little bit of a run. What do you guys think? One of the two gray cars, orange, maybe it's in the air. Someone might be looking at that. I'm kind of leaning more towards one of the two Grigio cars. Me too. And then I have an idea of what color I want to paint it because the interior is right. You're, it's all black. Comment below. What do we do? I had a rough year. My Mercy got crashed. <laughs> yes, My 720, you laugh about it. No, and I laugh, I just, but like, honestly, we did. I've gone through a little, I haven't talked about this on the channel, but I've had some like my own challenging mental health issues, just like some depression, some anxiety and stress around, yeah. you know, the shop, these two accidents and what it does to our insurance and the future of DDE. And it's hard to run this business. Like we're from Canada. We have a business in the States. We've had three years of having to go through legal stuff and lawyers to get our visas and the company set up and to do it all on the up and up and properly. We bloody will pay taxes in two countries. We do whatever we need to do to make it all legit and good and, and sustainable for you guys and for us too. We live off of this business. And I'll tell you, the last 12 months has been- Bit of a roller coaster. <laughs> dude, it's, it's honestly been really hard. I bet. So I'm trying to find I'm trying to get my groove back, Mike. Yeah, and lost your groove. I, I lost my groove and honestly, thanks to you yep. for lending me the keys to the manual Murcielago. I honestly got a lot of joy out of that car and it gave me some time. I have the best time to think while I'm just driving. Mm -hmm. You're like me, I love being on the road. I love driving. So I hate you, being a passenger as everyone knows, yeah. but I love driving. <laughs> I do like going fast, but it's only when I'm in control. I don't blame you, I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I've been able to gather my thoughts over the last few days while being home and behind the wheel of this Murcielago that I've been driving. And yeah, I just, I got back to feeling grateful and, and not that I wasn't, but you know, there's peaks and valleys, like mm -hmm. no matter how well you're doing in life, you know, your emotional state, how you take care of yourself, anyhow, without getting too much into it. It's been a rough year, a rough, tough year. And I'm just looking to come out of it on the other side in a positive way. So getting another stick shift mercy in my life and just even leaving it here in Kelowna and driving it when I'm home. Exactly. It was nice to be able to hang out, go for cruises. Go hang out with this guy. Yeah, exactly. Enjoy this guy's boat. This is why I don't buy a boat. Exactly. Just have to have friends with boats, guys. I need a cold start. All right. That's typical Ferrari. A million beeps. Just a bunch of beeps. Yeah. We're almost there. Hey, you, can, you can hit the button or what are we doing here? Yeah. Hey. Uh, How's that going? Put your foot on the brake. <laughs> Immobilizer malfunction. Where's the key? Do you know what you're doing? I thought I did, but I'm new. You sell the cars, but you don't I'm actually drive them, here. hey? It's even, it doesn't even know what it, why. It says it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's wet? Yeah, it's saying system not programmed, electrical system fla failure. Hey, was it plugged in? Yeah, um, if you kill the battery, it'll say all those it, things. I promise you it's the battery. It's the battery, yeah. I guarantee you. <laughs> the car's perfectly good. So we've got the charger, the dog, the booster, the billionaire. Will it start? The moment of truth. The cold start everyone's been waiting for. Here we go. <laughs> it's you. Oh, come on. Don't push the gas pedal, it's fuel injected. Yeah, Jesus. Thanks, Mike. Well, you were starting to and I saw your leg move. I was like, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I made no attempt to push the pedal. I saw your leg move. I'll, I'll walk right out of here. <laughs> yeah. Just like Damon's Into going the wall. <laughs> yeah, just like Damon's going to. <laughs> this is me. See you guys, left foot, <laughs> the left, right express. We just had the wrong guy trying to start well, it. I, I think, think so. Are you gonna give it a run? I'm gonna give it a run. All right. He probably didn't have his foot hard enough on the brake. Probably not. <laughs> Dude! I don't know. I don't think he knows what to do. Oh, yeah. Look. 
look at this thing. I freaking miss this car, especially red. Hell yeah. Thank you. I'll see you tonight. Yeah, I'll see you tonight. Oh, we'll drive down together. I'll meet you. What time when we leave? Like nine? Nine. Nine. Oh, hell yeah. You guys ready for this? Oh, let's go. And we're off. The 488. Listen to that. Wow, she sounds amazing. I forgot how insanely low to the ground this car is. It's like rolling out of a car more than it is getting out. Oh, I love this thing. It's a sexy car. The lines on this car, the shape of it, it's a beautiful car. And then accentuate it again with that Y body kit, a few little race parts. What a monster. Should it come back onto daily driven exotics? What else could we do to it? There's some things obviously could change with it. Could go a little crazier with the turbos. Even just the way it is, you gotta admit, that is one beautiful looking Ferrari. All right, dinner, and then we're gonna rip with Billionaire Mike Hall and go watch Fast X.